Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise to you. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is good. He is worthy to be praised. God bless every one of you who has joined us in this teleconference. We are here in Portugal today broadcasting live and this teleconference. And we want to give God thanks for bringing us here, giving us journey's mercy. And we want to praise the Lord for his wonderful goodness towards us. We have a wonderful um presentation today because we want to dedicate a, my grandson to the lord and i'm um, thanking you all for joining and i give god praise for you it's been wonderful it's wonderful to um to be with my family here and you know i decide that whatever happened i'm going to continue with the teleconference god bless you every one of you who has joined us and I'm just going to go into the world. I see Pastor Winston is here. He's going to help me to do the dedication a little after. But uh, praise the name of the Lord. But I'm going to just read a few scriptures and go into the word of God. And then maybe about no. half an hour time or so, I'll turn over to Pastor Winston. And he will take charge of the um, um, dedication. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to have a little prayer before I start. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory, we lift up and praise your wonderful name. Your name is to be praised from the uprising of the sun to the going down of the same. We give you praise because you are a good God, you are a loving God, you are a merciful God, hallelujah, full of grace and mercy. So we adore you, dear Lord. Bless us now, Lord, as I go forth. Let everything be done to the praise and the glory and the honor of your name. We give you thanks, we give you praise, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Before we continue, I want to look at the scripture. We are talking about a mother and a child. We're talking about how, you know, a, a mother responsibility for a child and how it is when a mother wants a child and I'm looking at the story taken from 1st Samuel chapter 1 1st Samuel chapter 1 and I want to read a few verses going down from 1st Samuel chapter 1 and it reads like this now there was a certain man of Raphael Zezoyim of Mount Ephraim and um, the son of an Ephesianite. He had two wives. The name of one was Hannah and the other was Penina. And Penina had children but Hannah had no children. And this man went out of the city early to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hopkins and Penanis, the priests of the Lord, were there. And when the time came, Elkanah offered, he gave Penina the wife, his, his wife, 
unto all her sons and daughters portion but unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion a worthy portion for he loveth Hannah but the Lord had shut up her womb praise the Lord can you imagine how Anna felt because the Lord shut up her womb and she could not be a child you know it is wonderful when a woman bear a child it you know the Bible says children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward so Anna Penina had children but Hannah had none and she did not feel very comfortable knowing that she had no children even though her husband Elkina loved her more loved her so much because he gave her a worthy portion he gave her when it come to giving he gave her more all that he could give her gave her but she had no child and it says so Hannah rose up after she had eaten in verse 9 and after they had drunk and Eli the priest sat at the post of the temple of the Lord and she was in the bitterness of her soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. Can you imagine how Hannah felt when she see that she cannot conceive, she cannot bring forth a child and she wept in the bitterness of her soul. She prayed to God earnestly. She didn't feel happy. You know, you're in a situation when nothing is happening, nothing is going your way and you're praying to God and you're weeping and your soul is bitter because your heart is not satisfied. So this is the way Hannah felt. So as she prayed, in going on, 1 Samuel 1 verse 1 and it's in verse 11 it says, She vowed a vow unto the Lord and said unto the Lord of hosts, If thou will indeed look at my affliction and my of thine handmaid and remember me and not forgot thine handmaid but will give unto thy handmaid a man child she was specific she wanted a man child then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon his head so Hannah made a vow. You know, sometimes it's good to make a vow to the Lord. When we want something from the Lord, we say, Lord, if you do this for me, then I will do this. And this was Hannah. Hannah said, if you do this for me, I want a child, Lord. I need a child. And she prayed earnestly. And because our God is so loving, our God is so merciful, you know, when we, when we bow down to the Lord and cry unto the Lord, God, God heart just, he just has to just open up the windows of heaven for us because he's a loving God. And when Anna, Hannah prayed earnestly from his heart, she vowed to the Lord. She said, if you give me a man child and forget not thine handmaid, I will give him back to you. And thy hand made a child, and I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. I will give him back to you all the days of his life. I will dedicate him to you, Lord. And this is the way we parents should be towards their children. That when we cry to the Lord for a child, and the child, God give us a child, we should dedicate, give it back to the Lord. Give him back to the Lord. And God was pleased. So it went on to say in verse 12, And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spoke in her heart, and only her lips moved. But her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli, the priest, thought she had been drunk, drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have not drunk, neither have I no strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. 
She went on to say, Count not thy handmaid for the daughters of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hereunto. And Eli the priest said unto her, Go thy, go in peace. The God of Israel grant thee thy petition as thou hast asked him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, you see the, the benefits that we can get from God when we go to God as a, a child of God, our sin, you know, our sin, a petition of God with sincerity, with humility. You see what we can get from God. And the priest realized that there was a connection there. And the priest Eli said to her, go in peace. Go in peace. And the woman, for, and go in peace. For the Lord shall grant thee thy petition. How great is that? How wonderful is that? So we're talking about a mother and child and the love that a mother should have for a child and the care that a mother should have for a child you know so we see the story how Hannah prayed to the Lord earnestly wanted something he said while she was praying at the altar while she was praying to the Lord her lips moved but there was no nothing coming from her mouth there was you know sometime when we pray we don't have to make a loud noise God hear the heart you know, God, hear, God heard the voice of our heart, the words of our heart. And she said in her heart to the Lord, she said, I will give unto the Lord, give him back to you. Give me this man child and I will give him back to you all the days of his life. And no razor shall come up on his head. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know the story very well of how when Sam, Samuel was a, the child was Samuel and when Samuel was of age she brought him to the priest and he was there with the priest and the priest blessed him and kept him there you know because he, Hannah gave him back to the Lord and we see how God used Samuel in such a mighty way God used Samuel to anoint the first king of Israel, which was Saul. God used Samuel to anoint the first, the second king of Israel, which was David. And God used Samuel in some mighty way until the people cried unto the Lord and said they wanted their own king. So God can, when we dedicate a child to the Lord, God can use that child. God can use a child in a mighty way if we dedicate a child to the Lord. So it is always good to dedicate a child to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we're talking about Samuel and then going on to Matthews. Um, going on to Matthews, this is Then in Matthew chapter 19, verse 13, it says, Then were, then were, Matthew chapter 19, verse 18, Then were there brought unto him little children. We have a song that says, Jesus loved little children. And we should too. They brought unto him little children that he should put his hand on them and prayed. And the disciples rebuked them. No one should turn away a child from, from, from knowing God. No one should turn away a child from seeking God. Our duty is to, to train up the child in the way that he should go. That when that child becomes of age, it will not depart. No one should forbid a child to be blessed. No one should be a, forbid a child to be prayed for and to be taught about God. So the disciples, they brought children to, to the Lord Jesus while he was here on earth, and his disciples rebuked them, maybe saying, the master is too busy. He hasn't got no time for children. Hallelujah. 
But what Jesus says, Jesus said unto them, Suffer the little children and forbid them not to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hand on them and departed. God wants every child to come to the knowledge of who he is. And every, every parent who have a child should have should be your duty to allow that child to know about God. It is so important. It is more important than anything, any achievement that a child should have. No more achievement is more than a child knowing God. Nothing more. It is good that they can uh, have uh, academic achievement, that they become lawyers or doctors or anything like that and achieve such in life. But the most important thing for your child, for our child, our children, is that they know God. And Jesus says, suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is for children. This is what Jesus is saying. The kingdom of heaven is for children. And that's why he said to the, the, the man that unless you become a child, our heart must be like the heart of a child. If unless our heart can become the, as the heart of a child, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. That's what Jesus said, not what I said. We have to reach a place where we can humble ourselves before God. A child is humble. A child is full of humility. And that's the child we should have, that's the heart we should have. A heart of humility. So it says, suffer the little children. There was a time when the apost when the disciples said unto him, and which master, which of which of, which of us is greatest in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of heaven? And he said, he bought, he said, bring a little child unto him and said, he that humbleth himself as, this, as a child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So we should not feel that, you know, because we have achieved so much in life, that we are greater than the child. He says, he says, suffer the little children to come unto me, forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Such is the kingdom of heaven. And I want to look at... Um, uh, this story of Simeon um, is taken from uh, Luke. Um, Luke, yes, I think it's Luke. The story of Luke. Um, so it's saying that, um, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was a just and devout man, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he seen the Lord Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, awesome. Hallelujah. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. The Spirit led him into the temple. And when the parents brought the child Jesus to him for, he, for him after the custom of the law he took him up in his arms and blessed him and said Lord now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for my eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to the Gentile and a glory to the people of Israel. Amen. So it was told Simeon by the Spirit that he would not taste death until he saw the, Lord, the Lord's Christ. Hallelujah. And he waited, waited because he believed the word that he would see the Lord Christ. And the time come when he was taken, when he went into the temple in Jerusalem. And he was a devout man. He was waiting for the consolation. He was waiting for the hope of Israel. He was waiting for the salvation of Israel. 
and the Holy Ghost was upon him. Hallelujah. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he see the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. The Spirit led him into the temple. And when the parents of Jesus, of the child Jesus, bought him to do that which was custom. In other words, the parents of the Lord Jesus bought him to be blessed. Hallelujah. And he took him up in his arm and blessed God. Hallelujah. And said, he blessed God. This is awesome. This is awesome. Simeon took the baby up in his hand and he blessed God. He was holding a baby God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And he said, Now, Lord, let thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. I have seen thy salvation. I have seen the hope of Israel. I have seen the, the hope of your, thy people. I have seen you come and overcome. I have seen you victoriously. I have seen your love. I have seen your mercy. I have seen, I have seen your grace. Which thou hast prepared, he said, which thou hast prepared before the, before the face of thy people, light unto the Gentile, and glory unto thy people, Israel. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I love this scripture. He was told he would not taste death until he saw the Lord Christ. And led into the temple, the parents bought Jesus, and he blessed God. Hallelujah took him in his arms and blessed God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. So God bless you, my brethren. As we realize that when we have children, it's our responsibility to bring them to the Lord. Bring them to the Lord. Bring them and offer them, offer them to the Lord. It is our responsibility. And I'm glad my daughter is here with me. And she has been offered to the Lord from an early age. She's been blessed and she's been baptized. And I know she loves the Lord. Amen. And I said to her, I would like to do, a very, she has not been able to bless the child in the United States where she is. So I said I want to and I did ask Pastor Winston to assist me in blessing this child which you will see him very shortly and I'm going to turn over to Pastor Winston to lead this part of the service as the Lord lead him and when he's ready I will bring out little Ashani, Ashani Thomas to be blessed and, her, and his mother and um, I'm going to turn over to you, Pastor Winston. Pastor Winston. Yes, sir. I'm turning over to you, sir. Take over now and the Amen. I want to bring Sister Rosie tonight also and bring all the wonderful people who are on this platform tonight. Amen. And Mr. Thompson, thank you so much for giving the opportunity that could bless your grandson for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I will appreciate that. Appreciate you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to worship the Lord with all of my heart. Give me my heart and not just a part. Lift up my heart because I think of being and worship. With everything the 
us one more time. I'm going to worship the Lord Amen. with all of my heart. Give me my heart and not just a part. Lift up my heart to the King of King and worship with everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hearing should continue practice of the blessing of and they are dedicated their baby, their baby and their young one to Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. The parents responsibility just give up the child back to God. Yes. And tonight, just so glad that the mom that means I've come to the altar at a night. Am I right? Is it right? Yes, it's right, it's right. Amen. At a night, give me the baby. Give me blessed by God. Amen. And I'm here at a night. Can I see your face? Um, Ajumida. You can bring him, uh, she, you can bring him around or you can show him from there. Oh, okay. Can I see baby? Can I see the baby? You want to see the baby? Yes. Let it, let it, let platform see the baby. I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, okay, come, 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 a nice, nice young man. What did you say? Could you tell me the platform? What's your baby name, please? Ashani Thomas. Ashani Thomas. Ashani. 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 Yes. How old is he? He's four years old. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well, I'm so glad that you took time on to dedicate the baby, a blessed baby. God. And we as parents and, and all the grandparents, the church members, and the continue to remember the baby choir. Amen. And we're going to continue to teach the baby the way of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And yet, also, there's a charge to the parents. Yes. Lord. The practice of training the baby in the right way to love the Lord. Amen. And the baby will follow your footsteps. And yes. The godparents and the parents and be the family member when you continue supporting you in the of the child the way he should to brought the child. And um, what we need to teach the baby, teach the baby how to love the Lord. Yes. But we too have to love God to set the example. And you too have to love God and follow up with God put them. They can teach the baby the right way. And what you want to learn from these scriptures, the very spirit is. Here, oh Israel, you don't want to sing. Verse 1 and 7. Here, oh Israel. Yeah. Lord thy God is one God. Amen. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And all. Amen. And these words which I have commanded thee this day shall be in, in, in their heart. So these words shall be with us and shall, shall be in the very heart. Amen. That he must love the Lord thy God with all his heart, with all his soul, and all his mind. We are going to continue to show the baby love. Mm. We are going to continue to continue teach the baby the way of the Lord. We are going to continue to live a life that we can see a life in us and to follow for our footsteps. Amen. 
altar, the granddad puts them, the grandmom puts them, the parents puts them, the, uh, the grandparents puts them, mm. and all the tears of the member. Amen. Yes, right. At this time, at this time I'm going to ask before we do the blessing, I'm going to ask Sister Rose to sing. Okay. Amen. 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 Jesus saw them here, they fled, and sweetly smiled and kindly said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, oh, I will receive them and fold them in my bosom. I'll be her shepherd to the land. And so try them not away. For oh, if their hearts to me they give, they shall with me in glory live. Suffer the little children to come up to me. How kind was our Savior to bid these children welcome. But there are many thousands who have never heard his name. The Bible they have never read. They know not what the Savior said. Suffer the little children to come on to me. Oh, soon may the heaven of every tribe and nation will fill thy blessed word and cause a idol all away. Oh, shine upon them from above and show thyself a God of love. Teach the little children to come on to me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, I'm going to ask the Macklin to get a children and pray. I don't hear what you said, Pastor. Please pray. He said pray. Just, just pray, just pray. Yeah, general, general prayer. A general prayer. Just, just say a little prayer. Yes. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Eternal God and our loving Father. We just want to lift up that holy name. Amen. The name that is above every other name. Lord, here we come to you tonight, Lord. You know the reason why, Lord, we gather on this occasion. Father, we thank you for this privilege. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that we can meet again with our loved ones. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for their body. Hallelujah. Praise All the Lord. God, or his son, daughter, and grandchild, wife, Amen. all God, and church, brethren, Lord, as a family, we come together, Lord. We may not see each other faces, God, but we can hear the voices and we can differentiate the voice who we are. And so, Lord, we thank you again for your blessing, Father God, and as Brother Thompson God to leave from America to to Portuguese on this occasion, mighty God. You know the reason why she's here, Lord. And I pray, Almighty God, that you will lift her up above every shadow. Mighty God, I pray that you will cover this family right now under your precious blood, under your precious blood, the blood that never loses, the blood that never loses, 
the only type of chapters to be dedicated to the and the talent of all people dedicated. I pray the angel of the Lord will give up the woman with the business boy in the family of the mother, the father, wherever he may be. Lord, we know that by grace, not a distant to you. Your eyes are upon us. And so tonight, God, we pray that you have ever said, Lord Jesus, to look to you. All to ask you, please, your power of faith. And Lord, when the thought of the Lord is finished, my God, we can say, this was good for us in the future. God, we pray that you bless us with the time as we have all the practices that you may dedicate to a child to write no theme, Lord. We pray your blessing upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, amen. 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 Can they have God? Can you all hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. 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 Can they have God on the little children? As Jesus put his hand on them and prayed with the disciples to build them. But Jesus said, Amen. To come unto me, was sent to the king of heaven, and he laid his hand on them, and they departed, and he laid his hand on them, yes, and he departed. Thus they brought the children, for Jesus to pray for them. And his disciples will go there. Maybe someone in the group tonight may say, What do I do? What do I do? They're not doing it right because we have done together in one place. Turn on the disciples. Amen. On the phone, on the telephone, on the internet, God is right here. God is here. God is here. Amen. Yes, He is. God is the ruler of the world. That's right. And he's in high in the globe. And when they put out the old one for you on the you want to be at school on, church on, and go, you want to go one line, God's still here to bless the baby. Yes. And thank God for his blessing upon the little one today. At this time, um, uh, what do you know your mom's name? Um, Ajumida. 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 The whole child, at this time, means a time to go and to pray God bless it on his baby today. The Lord will be God on the hand of baby. Amen. And it's God going to pray for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that some idea? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, this. This is what. We have had a baby, please. Yes, 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 yes. Have a seat there. Have a seat there. Hallelujah. The grandfather dedicate this challenge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Eternal Father. Oh, Lord and our God. I present this child to you, mighty God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I present him to you, Lord, even as Hannah dedicated. Hallelujah. Samuel to you. We dedicate this child to you, Lord, that you will take this child, Lord, as you have given it to us. Lord, we give this child back to you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give this child back to you, Lord. That near no evil, no evil shall come nigh his dwelling. Hallelujah. 
I rebuke every force of darkness that may come upon him. Hallelujah. I cast down every evil power, hallelujah, that may come upon him. I rebuke the gun, I rebuke the knife, I rebuke every danger, hallelujah. I rebuke every danger that come upon this child right now. I put your blood your precious blood that was shed. I put your blood upon this child right now, Jesus. Hallelujah. And let the holy oil anointing be upon him. Let your presence, hallelujah, let your presence be with this child. Hallelujah. As anointing, Lord, in the name of Jesus, no danger, no danger, hallelujah, no danger shall come upon this child. And Lord, this child shall go to fear you. Let the fear of God be better in his heart and touch his mother Lord that she may train him up in the fear of the Lord hallelujah the fear of the Lord to love the Lord with all his heart with all his mind with all his soul with all his strength Lord I rebuke every forces of darkness every forces of the enemy every plan of the enemy I send it back right now to the sender in the name of Jesus and I clear I declare victory in the chin in, the, in this child's life in the name of Jesus. And I declare that this child will love you and serve you with all his heart. Hallelujah. All the days of his life. Even as Samuel served you all the days of his life. Bless his mother also, Lord. Let your anointing be upon her. Allah, Shako, Elo, Messiah. Hallelujah. Let your anointing be upon her right now, Lord. Let your anointing be upon her, Lord. From a child, she was brought up in the church. Lord God, bless her right now and teach her the way. Protect them both, Lord, from every danger, every possible danger. No danger shall come nigh unto them in the name of Jesus. And I claim the victory right now. I claim the victory right now in the name of Jesus. I claim the victory in the name of Jesus. Bless them, Lord. Let your blessing be upon them all the days of their life and help them to live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 I'm very thankful to to leave this, this song, song with your daughter as well. Yes. Yes, you can say something. Hello. Psalm 121. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will have people I put to me. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall make us stronger for our sins. Amen. Amen. O thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not make you thy feet, nor the moon thy night. Amen. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He yes. shall preserve thy soul. Lord. Amen. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this and forth mm. and even forevermore. This is the psalm to go with you back to America. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Sister Mark. Thank you, Sister Mark. The Lord will preserve you from all people. No weapon that torn against you. Hallelujah. I receive it. We receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall be condemned because the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming. This and forth and then. Forevermore, cleanse it, receive it. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. But your father is a tongue of strength in me and his word. When I'm in my problem, I can call your dad, Brother Thompson. He always giving me a word of encouragement. If I don't hear from him for two or couple days, I get worried and get sick. Oh. I voice note him asking what's going on. 
that, that the relationship they have. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, and may the Lord bless you, my dear, and may the Lord keep you under his blood. Because we know we are living into an evil world. Yes. But you have been protected by the Lord. Thank the you. blood of Jesus cover you. And may the blood of Jesus keep for you in your time. God bless you and your brother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Thank God you, Sister you. Mark. God bless you as God, well. God bless you, Sister Mark. God bless you. All she, right. She, I'll be under the line. Yeah. God bless you, Sister Mark. We'll receive it. Come on. Come on. Amen. The way that he should go. And when he has hold, he shall never depart from it. Train up the child. The way he should go. And when he is old, he never shall depart from it. So, as parents and that parent and that father. I want you to train up the baby. The way he should go. He should go. And when he's old, he shall never depart from it. And because you have Mr. Tampi is so humble and peaceful and calm and he bless it when go back to the day. We seal this world now. He bless it when go back to the day. He shall never humble. He shall never go on to the day of nothing. Amen. He is a confirmed to our spirit right now. Amen. That he could be a special child. Amen. That he could be a kind child, a good child. What a love to give. So what's up? What has he grown up and speaking now? You can see me speak to the baby. Yeah. And God is going to use it to bless other people. Amen. And God may come to bless him and keep him. And may he make sure upon him and give him peace. Uh, let's say, let's say the final we have time? Yes, yes, we have, we have time. And Father, we thank you. We have many to give to our God. We thank you for this child today, Lord. Amen. We thank you for the parents, Lord. We thank you for the God parents. And all the trust from me around them. Lord, you want to to keep him and put them in his soul. From Peter 5. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. From the devil. Yes. Evil force of darkness. From the knife, the gun, the master. He shall stay away from those people. Yes. He shall stay Amen. away. And go up in your fear, Lord. Go up loving people. He shall go care for people. As he go home, he shall he gonna help his mother. And his mother gonna be happy to know that she has brought this child. Hallelujah. Amen. She gonna be happy and pleased of his behavior. I believe it by faith. Hallelujah. I believe it by faith. Amen. That you are the God of all flesh. And you shall all their food step today, Lord. All their food step. You are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. You are the God of the universe. And today, mm -hmm. we thank you today, Lord, that you have created, that you have all day, for the baby to be dedicated. Amen. And give back to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, for my life. I thank you, Lord, for all of my life today, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to worship the Lord with all of my heart. I want to give my heart and not just a part. This child, we give it all and not just a part. We give it life. We give it so that we can reach age, Lord. Amen. I can make up his mind to choose. We may choose you, Lord. Accept your disposal, Lord and Savior. Amen. And get baptized. And come to teach your people how to love God. How to serve God. Yes. I pray that a blessing upon him tonight, tonight, Lord. 
you be a minister when you have age. You be a preacher yes. when you have age. Amen. You be a witness for the Lord. Amen. Are you coming to your hand right now, God? Your hand, your hand. Your hand, your blessing. Your peace. Your joy. Your love. Have to be unto God when you have age. Be not to God who can help you. Struggle to child. Yes. And I pray for him today, O Lord. I pray where I can put your hand to Lord. Not because it's day night duty. You protect her. Protect her from key. Rubber. Yes. What is your Lord? As you did a wonderful job by your security. Yes, she. Our workplace, Lord, to be a police force. Yes. And a dangerous place. Yes. Not a nice place to be. But we can't know best to see that smile. Amen. Then go to that smile. Because you know that she is protecting us. Yes. And then the protecting us. That's what keeps her alive, Jesus. That's what gives them a wonderful job. And he can't do the work for his family. May bless her uh, going on and her coming in. May you bless her life. Though. Yes. When you come at night, have peace, have sleep with the peace. Yeah. You come to have joy, peace, love, happiness. In the name of God, amen, amen. 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 God bless you. God bless Amen. you. Wish the Van Pastor Winston God really bless you. Thank you for assisting in blessing. Um, little Ashani. And um, we believe God that God will take charge of this child from henceforth and forever. Yeah. Amen. We thank you for your prayer, Pastor, and thank you for your dedication um, towards you know blessing this child. And thank every one of you for joining us here. And God bless you for making the effort, taking the time out. Really appreciate every one of you. And may God bless you and richly keep you, you know, because he's a good God. God bless you, everyone. And um, take care. And the Lord be with you all. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Sister Brina, Sister Warner, Sister P.T., um, Cousin Enid, Delian. Hello, oh, everyone. God bless every one of you. My wife as well. God bless you. Have a great week. Have a great week. And the Lord bless you. Amen.